Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning. Today is Wednesday, September 28th, Cycle Day C. I'm Trey. And I'm Allie. Attention to all 10th and 12th grade students. If you're interested in joining the service club, sign-ups are being held in Mrs. Corber's room 102 by the auditorium. You may sign up until Friday, September 30th. This is a great opportunity to get out and be proactive in your community. If you have any questions or concerns, please see Ms. Young. A reminder, the yearbook club meeting is today at 2.30 p.m. It will be held in Mr. Slatkoff's room, which is 107. Any student interested in painting decorations for this year's homecoming is invited to meet after school in the art room from 2.30 to 3. Attention middle school students, you will be receiving an order form for this year's yearbook. You may order on the form or order online. Starting today through October 7th, yearbooks are $25 plus tax. After the 7th, prices will increase. Please bring your orders with money directly to Mrs. Blackburn. Members of the World Language Club are reminded that dues are due by Friday to Mrs. Corber. Dues are $10. If you do not turn in your dues, you will be ineligible to participate in the club activities. There will be a World Language Club meeting today after school in Mrs. Corber's room. The homecoming dance will be held on Saturday, October 8th from 7 to 9 p.m. at the Ambassador Ballroom. Sign-ups for the homecoming dance will take place in the cafeteria during breakfast until the morning of October 7th. Prices are $5 per person or $8 per couple. If you do not plan ahead, the price at the door will be $10. Sign up early to save some money. If there are any questions, please see Mr. Podgerberic, Eric Blasic, or Megan D'Agostino. Congratulations to the Wimber Golf Team for their win over Shanksville. Boys and girls varsity slash junior high basketball sign-ups will be in the cafeterias during lunch. Please be sure to sign up so that we can have an accurate idea of who plans to play this season. Today in sports, a girls varsity soccer game away at Ligonier Valley and a boys and girls varsity golf match home against Portage. Good luck to you both. Today for lunch we are having chicken tenders, mashed potatoes and gravy, carrot coins, a watermelon slice, fresh apple, and a dinner roll. Thanks, Thanks and, and have, have a super day. day. <laughs> National Good Neighbor Day is observed annually on September 28th. This was created to acknowledge and celebrate the importance of a good neighbor. It is a blessing to have a good neighbor, but it is even a greater thing to be a good neighbor. Just a reminder for this upcoming Homecoming Spirit Week. Monday is America Monday. Make sure you wear your best American attire. Tuesday is Tacky Tours Day. Don't forget your Hawaiian shirt, socks with sandals, and fanny packs. Wednesday is salad dressing day. Dress like ranch dressing, Italian dressing, or French dressing. Thursday is tie-dye Thursday. Make sure you wear your best tie-dye shirt and socks and whatever else you have. And Friday is spirit day. Make sure you wear your blue and white. For those of you still confused about salad dressing day, for example, if you want to dress up as ranch dressing, you can dress up like a cowboy or French dressing, a French person. The homecoming game will take place at the Wimber Stadium at 7 against Portage. The dance will take place at the Ambassador from 7 to 9 on Saturday, October 8th. Thanks and, and have, have a great, great day. day. Good job on that one, Bailey. Yeah. <laughs>
The world was abuzz when talk of a possible Finding Dory movie would be released. On June 17, 2016, Finding Dory was released with eccentric cast members and an attention-grabbing story. The cast of Finding Dory includes, but is not limited to, Ellen DeGeneres, Ty Burrell, Ed O'Neill, and Caitlin Olsen. Both Ty and Ed are also featured on Modern Family. Ellen is the voice of Dory, a wandering fish with memory issues. Ty Burrell is the voice of Bailey, a beluga with sonar problems. And Ed O'Neill is the voice of Hank, an uptight but ultimately caring octopus. Dory is a wide-eyed blue tank fish who suffers from memory loss every 10 seconds or so. The one thing she can remember is that she somehow became separated from her parents as a child. Hi, I've lost my family. Where did you see them last? I forgot. I was looking for something and I... Okay, totally get it. Date night. I suffer from short-term memory loss. It runs in my family. At least I think it does. With help from her friends, Nemo and Marlin, Dory embarks on an epic adventure to find them. Her journey brings her to the Marine Life Institute, a conservatory that houses diverse, diverse ocean species. Where are they? Dory, there you Guys. are! Look out! Ah. Oh, look at this. Our friend got taken into whatever this place is. It's a fish hospital. I feel fantastic! Listen! Dude. Name's Hank. I have to find my family. That's a hard one, kid. Well, I guess you're stuck here. You're not helping, Bill. Fragile things. I lost my family. That is so sad. You weren't there. Not a great swimmer. Our friend is in there, lost, alone. Bailey, you've got to use your echolocation. Ooh, ooh I feel stupid. Poor baby. Let me get that for you. Woo! Mom! Dad! She should just pick two and let's go. Dad. What? I'm kidding. <laughs> I get the feeling they're shushing us for a reason. Like something with one big eye, tentacles, and a snappy thing? Well, that's very specific, but something like that. Somewhere out there is my family. I can't find them on my own. Hang on, Dory! Surf's up, dude! Incoming! I don't want to be touched! <laughs> Sorry. That's OK. Everybody does it. Nothing to be ashamed of. Dory now knows that her family reunion will only happen if she can save mom and dad from captivity. Thanks and have a great day.